The Victoria Royals general manager, head coach Mark Hapshai, joins us for a couple of minutes. And uh, nice to see you once again. Uh, you were in Camels last night. Can, uh, can you tell me a little bit about that game and, and what you saw from your team? Well, um, it was a loss, and we've had a few of those lately. I think our game might have been a little bit better. Not a lot, but a little bit. I thought our D zone was better. But the turnovers we had in the neutral zone were astonishing, to say the least. And uh, just kept turning it over and back, and it would go. So on to uh, the next uh, problem is cleaning up turnovers in the neutral zone. So we're getting a little bit better. I think, um, you know, when things aren't going well, it, it just there's not a lot of energy and you know things come don't come easy and everyone goes through it there isn't a team that doesn't go through it and uh, we're going through it now so we got to work real hard for everything we get you can talk about uh, turnovers the neutral zone i guess uh, you look at the forwards right i mean are they the guys that are ultimately turning it over or uh, the demon are, par are partially responsible there no it's it's all part of it i think uh, everyone's in d zone it takes you got the three forwards and the two defensemen and the goaltender and in the neutral zone, it's still the defenseman and it's still the forward. So, you know, I've always been a firm believer of a team game, and it is a team game, and and sometimes it's more weighted with the D and sometimes more weighted with the forwards. But all in all, I think uh, everyone can help each other out a little bit more and, and uh, you know, for a common goal. You're giving up a lot of goals so far this year, and uh, I don't know if you're really known as a defensive coach, but how disappointing is that where maybe there isn't quite that commitment to defense? Well, that is disappointing. We play a lot of shinny. Um, river hockey and that's as you know not the kind of game i really like uh the only thing is in six of our losses um those games we've allowed seven goals or more which is uh quite astonishing to say the least so you take that out of the equation it brings our goals against down a fair bit but still six six games you know out of however 20 some we played uh to allow seven more goals is, is a lot. It seems like when we get down, we just really get down and kind of pull the tent a bit. And that, that can happen, and that's a, that's an issue where it's all about grit, determination, and both pride, and we need more of that. Right, and getting the most out of your players, you were always great at that in Kelowna. It's just it's getting the guys to buy in and to play hard. Is it tougher nowadays with today's junior player? Not like uh, this was a long time ago you were in Kelowna, but is it tougher now to deal with a junior player to motivate them to get the best out of them? No, I don't think so. They just, it's a it's a young group. We have a lot of new, new guys, and we have a lot of young guys. And, um, you know, the young guys have, are used to playing a certain way at Bantam or so to speak, or their midget team, or their their uh, team in, in the U.S., and that's the way they're used to playing. And you know, we uh, when you come to major junior, every coach in the league has a certain style you want them to play, and there's an adjustment period, and we're no different than anyone else. Mark Hapshide joins us for a couple of minutes here as we talk to the general manager, head coach, uh, World Juniors, and Team Canada. Our Hockey Canada will announce on Monday there the roster for the World Juniors. And I was thinking to you the other day about, you know, potentially guiding the ship again as a head coach of the World Junior Program. Uh, would you entertain that again? Because you've been there before. Well, would, you, would you like to take it up again? I don't know. Not right now. Um, I really enjoy my job in Victoria. I, I work for really good people in a really good city, and I enjoy that. Uh, having both jobs is, is quite a commitment, and I love both jobs, and I'm glad I have both jobs. But to add the junior thing onto this would would really not be fair and right now you know i'm just not in the mindset to do that and, you know down the road who knows i mean uh don won it back in uh, i forget when and now he's doing it again so you can never say never i've learned to never close any doors and i respect the program i've been a part of that program as a player and as a coach um been with hockey canada i know the people there it's it's great uh it's a great operation they run a great uh a uh, great program, and so you never never want to close the door on something like that. Kevin Sunder, uh, forward for your hockey club, a good chance he could be named to the roster. Um, has he done enough, in your opinion, to, to be named? Well, I'd like to think so, but it's really not for me to decide because I see him and I see the teams we've coached against, but, you know, the scouting staff and the coaching staff have seen the, the players in Quebec and the O, and the scouts have seen the guys in, in, the, in the college. So there's lots of players there. Hopefully he fits into it, and if he doesn't, he doesn't. But, uh, you know, he's played pretty well for us. 
for the uh, start of the season and hopefully he's earned his way in. One last thing on a lighter note, uh, I was a little disappointed when I saw you today. I thought maybe you'd have the, the mustache going on. You participated in November, but uh, you, you just didn't want to buy in? Well, you know, I was considering it and then I saw yours and it's kind of shaped over to the left. I don't know when you did it, if it was like three in the morning and you couldn't see bad lighting or something, but you know, after looking at something like that, that, I'm glad I don't have one. That is Mark Hampshire, the general manager, head coach of the Victoria Royals. A little zinger to end up our conversation. So that is why Mark Hampshire did not participate in the campaign.